Hello everyone, let's do this problem now. A body of mass 1 kg initially at rest explodes and breaks into 3 fragments of masses in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 3. So this is the 1 kg mass. Now this is exploded into 3 fragments. You can see here in the picture this is exploding into 3 fragments are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 3. The two pieces of equal mass fly off perpendicular to each other. So you can see here these are the two masses which are fly off perpendicular to each other with what speed 30 meter per second each. What is the velocity of the heavier fragments? What is the velocity of the heavier fragments? So let's discuss this question in detail. So one kilogram mass is now uh, exploding, right? So when the one kilogram mass is exploding, what is actually happening? The one fragment is going in this direction. Another one is again going in this direction, making an angle of what 90 degree. Just imagine the third fragment is going in this direction. Okay. So we are going to apply now law of conservation of momentum. What all the values are given the here? The three fragments are here. Say it as this is M1 and this is M2 and this is M3. Correct? M1 is moving with a velocity say it as V1. Correct? And M2 is moving with a velocity say it as V2. And M3 is moving with a velocity say it as V3. So definitely it will have the momentum also because M1 V1 is momentum, right? So, this m1 v1 is a momentum vector. The momentum vector we can resolve into two components. You see this one, if we are resolving into two components, making this angle, what is this angle? Total angle is 90 degree, right? So, this may be, this may be making an angle of 45 degree. This is also making an angle of what? 45 degree. So, m1 v1 is the momentum component of which one? The particle m1. And uh, m2 v2 is the momentum value of which one? The particle m2. So if you resolve this one into components, so we can resolve this momentum component into x-axis and y-axis component. If this is theta, we can see here the component of m1 v1 will be acting in this direction. That is the m1 v1 cos 45. Same way there will be another component of m2 v2 will be acting in the same direction because this is a 45 that is m2 v2 cos 45. Now you can see here what is a vertical component. Vertical component will be m2 v2 sin 45 in this direction, m1 v1 sin 45 in opposite direction. So this should not be considered because this will cancel each other. The vertical component will cancel each other. Okay. So now in the value, in the question the values are given there m1 plus m2 plus m3 which is equal to 1 kilogram. And the ratio is given the m1 is to m2 is to m3 is equal to 1 is to 1 is to 3. If so, what is the value of m1? m1 is equal to 1 fifth of 1 kilogram. That is equal to what? 0 0.2 kilogram. And what is m2? m2 is also 1 fifth of 1 kilogram, right? So that is also equal to what? 0 0.2 kilogram. Then what is m3? m3 is the 3 fifth of 1 kilogram that is equal to 0 0.6 kilogram. Now we got what m1, m2, m3 and here the value given the v1 and v2 are equal correct v1 and v2 are equal which is given the 30 meter per second that is the velocity of which one the particle m1 and m2 where the masses are equal and the v3 is the heavier fragment velocity that we have to calculate. Correct. Now we apply the law of conservation of momentum to the momenta along horizontal direction. Because initial momentum, what is the initial momentum before uh, explosion? It is equal to zero, right? So final momentum also must be zero. This momenta, for example, we are writing here m3v3 must be equal to what is the opposite direction to the m3v3 that is m1 v1 cos 45 plus m2 v2 cos 45 if these values are equal definitely this opposite direction what will be the final momenta will be zero by applying the law of conservation of momentum the final momentum also must be equal to zero the momentum component m3 v3 must be equal to the horizontal direction total momentum that is m1 v1 cos 45 and m2 v2 cos 45 now do the calculation here what is m3 m3 is given the 0 0.6 right into v3 is equal to m1 is what 0 0.2 
v1 is 30 meter per second into cos 45 that is 1 by root 2 plus 0 0.2 into 30 into 1 by root 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 that is 0 0.6 into v3 is equal to 2 times 0 0.2 into 30 into 1 by root 2 therefore what is a v3 v3 is equal to 2 into 0 0.2 into 30 into 1 by root 2 divided by what is next one coming 0 0.6 if you do the calculation calculation is simple here you can see here 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 3 times right 3 here in 30 10 times so 10 will be getting now 10 into 2 20 20 by root 2 is equal to what that is equal to 10 root 2 that is equal to 14.14 meter per second so what is the velocity of the heavier fragment that is equal to v3 and v3 equal to 14.14 meter per second